Rocket Pat here. All right, guys. Well, I thought we'd take a little trip up underneath this 1947 Chevrolet pickup up truck and get y'all's first look at how well this thing's come together. So here we go. Let's see what we got. All right. Here we are up underneath the front splash apron and you can see the radiator. And it ain't perfect, but it looks pretty damn good. And we're up here in the wheel well. I'm gonna redo this area up in here. I'm not happy with that 100%. But as you can see, we got a lot of nice stuff going on here. And we go over to the other side. And we got it all nice and clean. There's our emergency brake apparatus going on right there. And drag link steering arm coming off our gearbox there we go that's a nice pretty shot right there got a few little more touch up areas i want to get to all right let's back ourselves back out a little bit here and we're going to go over here to this oil pan that i bought a complete engine just to get this oil pan for uh, because my other oil pan was beat the hell up and we weren't going to have that. Look, cobwebs. Alright, let's keep rocking and rolling and rolling back on back this way. And we got a draft tube. I might want to put a little paint up in that hole. Just, you know, stick the can up in there and go pssst. So, uh, let's see, man. What do we got interesting to look at back here? Uh, there's our completely rebuilt three-speed transmission. I rebuilt that whole thing, put all new bearings in it and everything. Uh, I ran all new brake lines all the way around over here to our brake booster and dual master cylinder so that it's a lot safer. I made that little splash over that heat shield because I didn't know how close this exhaust this is not the final exhaust it still has to get exhaust on here uh, I just got through wiring the rear brake lights and all that today and uh, let's see if we can get a picture of that m &H Electrical supplied the wiringharnesses.com I'm going to tell you what this has been a really nice, look at that, made in the good old U.S. of A. It's been a really nice harness. Uh, the only thing that I have found that's been a little bit short is actually this wire right here, which is the gas gauge wire. And it's probably short because it's probably, made, this harness is probably made to go more for the gas tank inside the cab instead of the one that I got back here. So anyway, there we go. Uh, nice, pretty painted floor. There's our control rod for my emergency brake. I still gotta drill that clevis out right there, that pin, and get that out, because if you see, there's one broke right here. I guess kinda got it wedged up there right now. Uh, yeah, I think it's looking pretty damn good. I got a new fuel line. I replaced the whole fuel line going all the way to the front. There's our 1947-1948 gas tank. I really like that where that gas tank's mounted and everything. Uh, that is not the wood. That's the bad wood right there. Uh, I got the other good wood sitting on top of it right now. Uh, it's kind of really humid here in Houston right now. So today's the third. I don't see me having the floor done by tomorrow because of the humidity level that's going on over here right now we got a storm coming in it's gonna be raining which is really pretty much canceled my little barbecue I was hoping to have I was gonna get me a brisket cook me a brisket but that didn't happen and everything so yeah uh, here's our running boards all cleaned up uh, going up against that white fender got all that looking nice uh, man everything I've painted on the inside and the outside I still got to get and we just got it today. I got a retainer that came in for the. If you look right there, that black strip, it's a piece of rubber that goes in between that 
piece of rubber right there goes in between the uh, cab and the running board. I got to get that in there. There's my battery location. And yeah, that's pretty much it. A ride up underneath our 1947 Chevrolet pick em up truck. Once I get that, I finally got the rear bumper brackets. And I'm still missing the splash shield that goes up to the bumper. I didn't know that there was a bumper splash shield and everything. And I'm getting my wiring done uh, back here for my brake lights and my tail lights and my turn signals. Although I'm not probably, probably not going to put the turn signal switch in yet. That's coming. So anyway guys, there's a look at our 1947 Chevrolet pick em up truck from the view that a lot of people aren't ever going to see. But thought maybe might y'all might like to see all the detail because I don't know about you guys, but I'm a real I really like contrasting colors. I don't know why when everything looks like it's a one to one model of what we used to build when we were kids, you know ah, But anyway, there you go one 1947 Chevrolet pick em up truck about ready to show y'all the top side Talk to y'all next time. Y'all keep rocking and a rolling and a rolling and a rocket, and I'll keep grinding it down.